Hi, welcome to Amster. Today I'll be reading the Zucasso Android TV Box Model T95Z Plus. And this one's powered by Android 6.0. Here's some of the specs for this item. And this cost about $73 off Amazon. And the packaging came with this user manual. I'm going to show you some of the pages of it. If you want to read it in more detail, just feel free to pause the video. And this user manual is actually pretty sparse. It doesn't really go into much detail, at least not for the remote control. It's, the remote is powered by two AAA batteries, which were not provided. Now with this, this remote up here, this is more of like a universal remote. I can use this to power my TV, change the volume, mute it, or change the input. There's some of the other functions of it. Okay. LED, Kodi, a lot of the popular Android functionality over here, web. Now, here is the Android TV box. Over here, I already plugged in a dongle for my keyboard. Here's that gigabit network port, optical audio cable, power, HDMI. And back on this side, we got a micro SD card reader and another USB port. I'm going to power this up here for a sec. Turn on, first turn on the TV. And notice that I, I just first turned the TV on. I did not turn this box on yet. And the box will power on automatically. Yep. Head back to the Android home screen. Here's the apps section. So some of the apps I install myself, such as 5iK and this VST, but all the other apps, well, and Cloud TV, most of the other apps here came pre-installed. One app that is missing on here is Miracast. Not that I actually use it for Android, because Miracast is far inferior compared to like AirPlay, but it's just something that's useful for those that just want to do like presentations or share a screen, share a web page. I'm going to launch Kodi. By far I use Kodi the most. And it came with Kodi version 16, but I've also added another add-on, Titanium, on this. That's why I see this blast screen. And you can still see the Kodi symbol. And switch to movies. So this is actually a very fast Android TV box. Not the fastest. The Nvidia Shield is still by far the fast out there. But that also costs about $200. But I think this one is great value for just $73. Currently this is my go-to Android TV box. Great audio quality, very easy to use. Great interface, smooth, running Android 6.0. It's got plenty of peripherals. Two USBs, optical, HDMI cable provided. And as for the remote control, a lot of hotkeys and universal TV functionality. Now for some of the con, one of the apps that's missing is Miracast, but that's not a deal breaker. Another is to use the universal TV functionality, well, it's not documented on, in the user manual, nor is it documented on the back of the remote on how to program this. To program it, hold the power button for about 7 seconds or so, the LED will stop blinking. And when it stops blinking, press and hold which button you want to program. And also press and hold the TV remote or cable box remote that you want to program. And just point them at each other. Once it programs, press the OK button to, to um, save the, your selection. Overall, this Android TV box provides great value and I would recommend it. Well, thanks for watching this review. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Hamster. Bye.